In the span of just a few days, Bill's Mafia turned heartbreak into triumph for the 10 Lives Club. Now people from across the country are donating in droves. News Force Tara Lynch spoke with donors from Florida to Texas up to Canada and beyond tonight. Tara. Well, Dave and Kelsey, this campaign has been really, truly remarkable, and it extends well beyond Bill's Mafia and even Chiefs Kingdom. Football fans and animal lovers alike are rallying behind the 10 Lives Club, allowing them to help even more feline friends in need. It's easy for me to say in this position because my team won, but this way both, you know, both parties are winners this way, whether it's winning the football game or winning at life. Hundreds of thousands of dollars have been raised for the 10 Lives Club in honor of Bills kicker Tyler Bass after he missed a field goal at the end of the Bills Chiefs game. After Bass received negative comments and threats online, fans rallied to help a cause that's important to him. He's an excellent football player, in my opinion. Um, so when I heard there was a chance to help and help cats, huge cat people in our house, like it was a no brainer. Dr. Lori Shank is a Hamburg native and now runs an animal clinic in Florida. As a Bills fan and animal lover, she jumped in to help her friends at 10 Lives. I'm hopeful it's really shed light on these smaller organizations that are really working away, chugging away in the trenches, and really uh, this was quite a windfall for them. After an annual fundraising bet with the Bills Mafia babes, Chiefs Kingdom was already donating to Western New York charities, and they decided to add in the 10 Lives Club. We had uh, begun supporting Mitch's, Mitch Morris's cause, you know, uh, per our bet that we made with the Mafia babes. And um, I saw a lot of comments that were coming out. What are we going to do for Tyler Bass? What are we going to do for Tyler Bass? That's when Chiefs Kingdom started donating to the shelter and donations poured in from across the NFL. Through social media, the fundraising effort spread even further, all the way to Bill Coker in Virginia, who donated $2,222. I saw the game uh, over the weekend and uh, decided to contribute. I saw that they were asking for 20 or suggesting $22. So I did, I just added two more twos. It's going to enable 10 lives to save many more cats. This will be a positive transformational moment. It'll be a seminal moment for them. I know they've had a lot of lean times and hopefully this will help them continue doing the good work they've been doing. The people that like shot him down, brought him down because of this last game is nowhere near the amount of people that are supporting him in this. And it's, it's really nice to see that like he's not forgotten. Animals are not forgotten. Like something so important to him is exploding. All right, drum roll, please. As of tonight, 200, I love it. Thank you, Kelsey. $284,000 have been raised for the 10 Lives Club. That's just in a couple of days here. It's still deciding exactly what to do with that money that was raised, but the rescue knows it will be in the name of Tyler Bass. We have details about how you can donate or adopt one of their cats over on our website, WIVB.com. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention I am a 10 Lives cat owner myself. So, Millsy, my cat at home, shout out to you. Reporting in studio, Tara Lynch, News 4.